Hi everyone. So this week we are going to focus on mobility. So I'm actually going to focus on lower limb mobility mainly. So we're going to go through some dynamic exercises to make sure that your hips and your lower body stay nice and mobile, especially as we're spending so many more hours sat at our desk at the moment. Also going to go through a couple of exercises where you can use one of these, so a spiky ball. If you don't know a spiky ball, a lacrosse ball um, can also work really, really nicely to make sure to keep these legs nice and mobile. So the first exercise of the day is going to be a four point position that we're then going to come up into a downward facing dog. So some of you may know that position from yoga, some of you may be petrified to now know that it's a yoga pose, but it's going to be really nice and gentle um, and just to help really strengthen and lengthen out those hamstrings and calves. So starting off on your hands and knees, we want to make sure that we curl our toes under taking your hands just slightly forward, just by a little bit. And what we want to do is send your pelvis right up in the air. So in this position, you might get a really strong stretch through your hamstrings and you just want to pedal your feet out. So just pushing your heels down into the ground. You can then push one heel down for a little bit longer, say about 10 seconds, swapping your feet, really keeping contact with every finger on the floor. Keep that nice stable base for your shoulders and then you can go a little bit more dynamic for 10 and then bring, pushing both heels down together for another set of 10 to really lengthen out through those hamstrings. So I would advise some pedaling, moving your feet up and down for about 10 repetitions, holding each calf down individually for 10 seconds, both calves together for 10 and then repeating it two or three times. The next stretch you want to do is to open up the sides of your hip and actually stretch down a little bit more into your ITB. So we want to take one foot behind you, okay, so we've got them nicely crossed over and we're then going to, if we've got our right foot crossed over, you're going to reach your right arm over the top of your head, keeping your chest really nice and wide. You might feel this a little bit into your lower back, side of your hip or down the outside of your thigh, wherever is most tight for you. Holding it for about 30 to 40 seconds, we then want to actually add in a bit of a bend over so we can then stretch your hamstrings. So reaching down to try and touch the floor, you'll feel it more on your, the back of the leg, but also to the side slightly. Again, holding for about 30 to 40 seconds, repeating it a couple of times on each side. So the next exercises I'm going to go through are how to release off the side of your hip and glute using a spiky ball. You can also use a foam roller um, or we also have kind of smoother options. We've got an array of these on our website if you go onto bodyset.co.uk and log into the shop section. Um, you, there's an array of different types of massage release objects that you can use at home. So we want to place the ball into kind of side and slightly to the centre of your glute. You want to lift the leg up, if you can, of the glute you're releasing. Having both feet on the ground makes it a bit easier, but by lifting up the other foot and you can cross it over the other, it opens up your glute so then you can move it round in circles, getting right to the tender points, taking time to take a bit more pressure onto those areas if you can, moving those areas round in circles. You want to remember to take it right to the very top of your glute and again maneuvering it around there. And this will be tender. Okay, make sure you're not pressing so hard that you're going to cause a bruise. You then want to change the position to take it a bit more into the side of your hip. So this is where we have to lie down on the ball a little bit more. Again, if both feet are on the ground, it's a bit easier. If we lift up the other leg, it's going to take a bit more pressure get right into the side of that glute and creeping into your hip flexor. Start off by just doing a few sets of 10 to 20 seconds and slowly build yourself up so that you can then bear a little bit more load through that side and through into the ball. 